Hello everyone, this is Miss Anne from the Fayetteville Lincoln County Public Library. I hope you're all having a magical Christmas Eve, and I picked a perfect book for the occasion. It's called The Librarian's Night Before Christmas by David Davis, illustrated by Jim Harris. Alright, let's get started. Librarian's Night Before Christmas Twas a cold yuletide evening, and I wandered the stacks shelving multiple titles that the patrons brought back. We toiled overtime in our library here, cause the powers that be cut our staffing this year. They spent pork-barreled money like a tidal wave sea, but no funds trickled down far enough to reach me. Our book numbers few and were falling apart, and I sat mending pages with a crestfallen heart. Still, I answered the phone with Christmas good cheer, and supplied all the names of the North Pole reindeer. I slumped addled and weary in my yuletide apparel, I felt like Bob Cratchit in a Christmas carol. Like old Robert Frost, I gazed at the snow, and longed to be home by the fireside's glow. I pondered and debated on Huckleberry Finn, had the love of great books come to an end? What happened next didn't seem to be real, cause out of the sky cruised a red bookmobile. Up to the front steps flew the library's ride with a portrait of Shakespeare airbrushed on the side. Someone exclaimed, I'll fill all their shelves. Then a door opened up and out popped six elves. They wore belled Christmas caps on their unruly hair and hung holiday wreaths on our stone lions there. Santa charged through the door, and his back knee boots shone. He bowed as he asked, need interlibrary loans? Flummoxed and flustered, I fumbled about. I didn't know whether to check books in or out. This oldster wore crimson, his fedora was green. He was body weight challenged, if you know what I mean. He was bearded and gabbed like a good storyteller, and he grinned like a writer with a New York bestseller. Nick was jolly and droll, a white mane crowned his head, and I could tell by his diction that he was very well read. This place needs some cheer, so let's make a start. Then he whistled in elves pushing loaded book carts. They stocked Hawthorne, Jane Austen, Steinbeck, and Millay, and for the more macho they supplied Hemingway. They shelved new science fiction and tomes from the past and sneaked in romances for sweet Molly McNast. Nick signed Newbery winners and starred Caldecotts. Each child got a book, which delighted the tots. He read stories to children by our small Christmas tree, while one little tyke took a snooze on his knee. Elves poured steaming hot chocolate in bright Christmas mugs and rolled out soft carpets to replace our frayed rugs. They fixed leaks in the ceiling and patched cracked walls and hung a large portrait of Mark Twain in the hall. Nick chided a censor who wished some books gone and suggested she can Fahrenheit 451. For the book budget cutters, Old Claws had no plan, cause if they could read, they'd just read Ayn Rand. The elves catered a feast straight from the North Pole. They carved turkey with trimmings and buttered hot rolls. Nick nibbled a drumstick, gave his tummy a pat, and tossed a small portion to the library cat. They organized goodies so we couldn't miss them, according to Dewey and his decimal system. I thank the old elf for a wonderful show. He nodded and whispered, it's time that I go. After checking his watch, he paid overdue fees, while folks promised to read and unplug their TVs. With these library gifts, my world shined much brighter. But this crew had a schedule, a bookman all-nighter. Nick winked at the cat as they dashed down the aisles and yelled, Happy reading, you bibliophiles! He loaded his crew and sang from the yard, The best gift of all is a library card. His ride lifted up and flew over the gate, and just to show off, he zoomed a fast figure eight. Nick boomed from the, his book van, Do one more good deed! Have a real Merry Christmas! Teach someone to read! Merry Christmas! Alright, that's 
the end of our story. I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.